Hi, welcome back to Community Hotline. I'm Monica Weitzel, and now we are here with our third and final guest of the evening, and this is a fun one. This is the Oregon Pro Arte Chamber Orchestra. Representing the orchestra, Dr. Jeff Speck, who is the music director and conductor, and Dan Crane, the concert master and board secretary. You guys got to kind of cover everything there, don't you? <laughs> that's, that's pretty impressive. Thanks for being here. Well, thanks for having us. So, uh, you were on before, you performed uh, with what, three other people? Four yeah, other? We had yeah. A, yeah, four yeah. other people. Four, yeah, and, and you, Jeff, were, were my interview guest that night. <laughs> I just um, talked that night. So. You just talked, yeah. It was great. It was great. It was really, really enjoyable. I was, I was very impressed. Um, just tell us a little bit, if you can, for those who missed that. I know everybody will go back and want to watch it, but um, tell us about the, the orchestra. Well, the orchestra is a regional nonprofit orchestra, and we perform throughout the Portland area. Um, and our repertoire selections are, uh, include classics and, and modern masterpieces for specifically chamber orchestra, which is kind of a smaller orchestra. Right. Um, and um, we, in addition to our normal concerts, we, we collaborate with a number of local artists, uh, a lot of the solo talent from the area, uh, people who teach at various universities, um, performers in the area. People uh, I might have heard of? Yeah, of course, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and, uh, and also, of course, what we would like to talk about tonight, too, especially, is, is we host a, an annual composition competition, um, and our next concert will actually feature that, that uh, prize mm, winner. That'll be great. Now, before we get to that, um, you brought a little piece of music for us. We're going to listen to a little snippet of it. Can you tell us what we're going to be listening to? Sure. This is, this is a small excerpt from, from our last concert in March. Um, and it's uh, Rossini's Barbara Seville Overture. And, and if oh, anyone, anyone who yeah. watches Bugs Bunny will, yeah. will recognize it immediately. <laughs> isn't that funny? I, I remember being a kid and figuring out, oh, this is like good music, isn't it? That I'm listening to. Yeah, <laughs> took me a while. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and listen to that now. Last concert in March. Yes. But you have a final concert coming up. Yes, May 17th. And I saw that on the screen there. So what was that? Was that da 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 da? <laughs> Can you guess the piece? Hmm, let me think. I think I've heard it before. How about you? Have you heard that? <laughs> Once or twice. <laughs> That's great. That's a great name for a concert. <laughs> Yeah, you know, it's one of those things where you know conductors have to think up uh, clever names yeah. to you know kind of you know market the right. the, the program, right. the event that's taking place. And I was just thinking, you know, what? How can I draw this together? It's like, well, da 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 da, da da. Yeah. You know, <laughs> doesn't it, get much more descriptive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So hopefully, when someone sees it, they you know they, they have that epiphany of of oh, I get to hear that piece. Yeah, yeah, that's great. No, oh, that's you know that's a clue. That's a good clue. Um, so this this uh, season finale concert, where, where is that going to be held? It's at uh, provincial, provincial House Chapel at Mary's Woods, which okay. is in Lake Oswego, Lake Oswego. and uh, it'll feature uh, three wonderful works. We have uh, Beethoven's Fifth Symphony, of course, mm -hmm. the um, the iconic symphony that that shocked the musical world over 200 years ago, and still to this day is considered one of the great masterpieces of, of classical music. Um, we'll also have uh, Bederick Smetna's uh, The Moldau, which is a symphonic tone poem, takes us on a nice tour of of the uh, essentially lifeblood river that flows oh. through the Czech Republic, um, so you'll you'll hear a, um, a hunting a hunt going on. You'll hear a, a peasant wedding dance. You'll hear um, even even moonlight glimmering on the uh, on the surface of the water. Oh. And so we'll we'll feature that that piece. And then what's what really we're really excited about uh, and what's new for the community mm -hmm. um, is the winner of the John Kenneth Cole Composition Prize, um, and we're featuring a, a piece called Meditation on. Uh, upon the 88th Psalm by Jared Hedges, who was a young composer from uh, from Minnesota. And so he was your winner. He he's your, our winner, yes. He's your winner, Jared, okay. Each year we host a, uh, a composition prize that uh, draws 
draws uh, uh, submissions from all across the United States. Um, young composers up to the age of 25. Mm -hmm. And uh, and he 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 won this uh, he, he won the award he he'll receive a five hundred dollars scholarship um, as well as a premiere performance of his of his work at this at this concert That's and so you'll right. be able to hear that for the first time ever to be able to hear this new work written by a young composer. Uh, up to and be coming, an that's, up and coming that's young very composer. exciting, especially for him, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. um, Dan, um, you maybe can tell me about the the award itself. It was named after. Um, yes, uh, John Kenneth Cole was a, a was a person who's a very much a friend of our orchestra, and unfortunately, mm -hmm. he passed away within the last couple of years. Um, and he himself was a, uh, a very prolific composer um, who started kind of in a, a genre which we can we consider more n normal now. But he studied music in uh, college. He was a mu music theory major, harmony, counterpoint. He studied those things, and he applied it to radio and television jingles. He did oh, a lot of really? those things. He referred to having kind of like a hundred kind of mini masterpieces that he had, oh, and. Did I? From a young age, just music meant a lot to him. It mm -hmm. came into a career, and through his involvement with advertising and television, he became exposed to some of the, the big orchestras, especially in the Midwest, because he was taught. He worked with the mm -hmm. Chicago Symphony, would be involved and do mm. some of these spots. Uh, just an amazing kind of time to be involved in that, and he really kind of became much more involved with classical music during that time. So, uh, and he, of course, then at that point developed a lot of his comp like small things into larger compositions when he got more interested and then he was at one point he was conducting a, a small regional orchestra and finally got to hear some of his works being performed which How is gratifying such a, for a composer, I'm very sure. very gratifying and it's such a rare opportunity yeah. and so for him looking and seeing what music meant to him he was very passionate about young musicians getting involved young people getting exposed to music and getting opportunities so he first got involved with us because we have a youth orchestra and he said I want to have these opportunities available for children to, to, to experience music and have it in their life and not only is it difficult for people to get involved with playing music but composing. It's very rare, and Jeff knows this, as, as a composer, to be able to get your works performed by an orchestra. Oh, I'm sure. I mean, yeah, they're not going to want to mess with yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> well, how, do you, how do you even get involved yeah. in that? You know, and that's, that's a very rare opportunity. He said, I think this is a valuable opportunity, and I want to open some doors for young people going down this path. And he's very passionate about it. So he and his wife donated the money in order to set up the prize. And so even though he is, he's gone now, we have this prize in the earth. And so this will be an annual Yes. An annual competition. Yes. So, uh, how many years has the competition been going on? It's been going on since 2008. Okay. So it's been uh, what? Yeah. That's. Uh, well, can't do math when I'm exactly. six years. Six, six years now. So this is uh, the sixth annual, and, uh, and the great thing about it is is not only just to uh, to have a pr premiere of your of your work, mm -hmm. uh, the composer is also able to pr get feedback uh, regarding their composition, from the regarding musicians, their, from the musicians, from from myself as conductor, uh, to provide valuable feedback for yeah. I if there's questions about how they write things or or just various skills that I mean, they that they can't get any other experience. way. Yeah, because Huge. yeah, because who better to tell them? You know how it is to play this piece and how it all works together than the people that are playing it's it. One thing to write it's another thing to play it. Wow. Mm -hmm. So you are the concert master. What exactly does that mean? I'm kind of Jeff's right hand man for the for the orchestra. So um, I help him get things done. I think that's okay. kind of the short <laughs> kind of the short way of putting it there. But I I get to go out there tune the orchestra and um, mm -hmm. you know try to you know, try to make sure that we're delivering what Jeff wants. Cool. How long have you both been involved with the? With the orchestra, this is my third season, and I've been, this is my tenth with uh, as with the orchestra, ninth on the board. Wow! Tell me about Jared a little bit. Do you know anything about him personally? He's uh, he's twenty one, mm -hmm. uh, so he's a very young composer, uh, and he he's originally from from Illinois, okay. um, but is studying at Bethel College in Saint Paul, Minnesota, and he's a double major studying music and English literature. Um, and he actually told us a little bit about the work, uh, you know, as as it is meditation upon the eighty eighth psalm. Uh, he gave me a little insight about how that connection came about. Um, he started actually writing the piece just uh, not really knowing how it would move on to the next next idea and how it even finish as he wrote little by little uh, every day and eventually something came of it. Um, and he started realizing that the mood of the piece, because the mood is actually very dark and very um, uh, very reflective mm -hmm. on some of the kind of more disturbing aspects of, of 
psychology. Mm. Uh, and he realized that some of the some of the theologians that he had been he had been reading about, and some of the um, other works he had been he had been listening to, kind of influenced that piece. Oh. And so the piece takes on this kind of uh, mood and kind of character of of the actual ADA Psalm, which focuses the the main theme is about darkness and about this this uh, conflict between faith and doubt, and how doubt can sometimes become overwhelming and completely uh, snuff out any kind of hope, any kind of mm -hmm. uh, any kind of feeling of, of of progression, um, and oh. so in that that kind of dark That's mood, heavy. <laughs> it is yeah. it is heavy, uh, which which will be in, in you know very good contrast with the other pieces, of course. Yeah. And of course, Beethoven's uh, Fifth Symphony is is uh, is all about turning triumph into tra uh, tragedy tragedy into yeah. triumph, um, and I think that uh, this piece kind of fits that 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 mode very mm -hmm. well, where it has that tragic element to it, but there's also that element of hope as well. Did you bring him out here? Did he come out here, or did he just submit? The music on a like on a tape to you, or how does he, that work? He submitted. We, we usually uh, we receive either receive uh, PDF and, uh, copies, or mm -hmm. they'll send. Sometimes people send uh, actual hard copies of their of their scores, mm -hmm. um, and then we make a decision. He'll actually be flying out for the concert to hear his work and to work with the orchestra a little bit during the rehearsal process. Uh, so we're really excited. That's going to be very exciting out. for him. Where does he stay when he comes out here? Does he does he just wherever? I mean, do you guys put him up or anything? Well, actually, we we do have, does I don't, stay I don't, with I don't a, know that like stay with a stay with a family in the <laughs> orchestra or something. Well, we'll definitely get that worked out. Yeah, we're excited, don't make him we're, sleep on the street, okay? We're excited to have him though. I bet. Well, this is going to be fun, and it's going to be so exciting for him. Um, I wish he was here too. You know, that would be great. But he's 21 years old. That's um, I assume that's going to be his career. Right? He, I mean, he's he's looking towards it. Yeah, he, yeah. he has he hasn't uh, from from what I've talked to him about. Uh, he's uh, music is kind of is his passion. Yeah. It's, it's it's his love. The English is the backup in case it is. <laughs> I'll be a teacher. That's as what often is the case for yeah. musicians. Yeah, yeah. So um, tell me a little bit more about the concert that's coming up. This is um, on May seventeenth. You said at um, St. Mary or Mary's Woods. Mary's Woods. Um, in the what was the name of the provincial provincial house provincial chapel. house. If okay. you go if you go into uh, Holy Names Drive and just mm -hmm. keep going until you come around it, you'll you'll see this beautiful beautiful building uh, yeah. where the where the provincial house chapel is, and it's at seven thirty. Um, and tickets can be can be purchased at the door. You can also go to our website at organprar.org and uh, also order tickets on online. Okay, and now it, your concerts is that how you sustain your Organization, or it's part of it. Uh, since we're nonprofit, uh, we kind of uh, a, a kind of a two-thirds, one-third model, where uh, ticket sales are about one-third. Uh, the remainder come from personal donors, uh, sponsorships, um, and also arts grants that we mm. that we apply for. So the grants probably. Mm. So and that's kept a lot. It's very <laughs> important to us. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. it's important to a lot of organizations out there, and we rely on that uh, quite a bit to, to sustain us. Because otherwise, we'd have to have outrageous ticket prices. And we yeah. mm -hmm. and our our mission is to bring music to the community and make it accessible so that's right and, and, the, and the people that are playing these are not uh, these are some professional musicians or some are professionals mm -hmm. uh, majority vast majority of the orchestra are very talented amateur musicians um, who, who have other where music jobs music is their passion we, we, yeah. I mean, we have we have lawyers we have doctors we have retired teachers we have uh, our bass player is a is a glaciologist a glaciologist. Uh, so, so oh, yeah, I we, want to be one pe of those. People, from, people from all over, uh, <laughs> and, and of course, we do have some professional musicians who play with us as well. Wow, that's pretty impressive. Well, if um, what if somebody wanted to get involved and actually play for the orchestra? They can contact me directly. Uh, if they go to our website, they can uh, um, actually go to a, uh, a contact us button. Um, and it'll actually bring up a field for them. They can actually send uh, send a message directly. It'll come right to me. And you will um, answer it. And and I will answer it. And uh, if you're interested in supporting us, you can do the same. Uh, whether it's uh, you want to perform or you want to uh, support us or vol even volunteer for the concerts. We're always so what kind of things would a volunteer do? Oh, we, we need people uh, all the time for for helping uh, get concerts set up. We need people to um, help with tickets, uh, help with the receptions uh, during the intermission. Um, volunteering with various aspects of, of board activity. So there, okay. there are a lot of things that people can get involved Good. with, whether it's through development or the concert or, or whatever it happens to be for the organization. We're always happy to If you have a get passion for music, but maybe you're really not good enough to play, this is a good way to get exactly. involved. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. Yeah. If you ever wanted to be a part of, a, of, a, of an arts organization that, that is an orchestra, yeah. uh, it's a great That's way a great to get involved. Way to do it. Um, we're just about out of time, so I think you have another another snippet for us. Right? One little snippet, this is also from our, our previous concert. It's the second movement from Franz Schubert's Fifth Symphony. 
Um, you can't and keep all those numbers straight. <laughs> it's 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 uh, it's tough. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> it's your job, right? Yeah. Okay. So we'll listen to that and we'll uh, we'll go out on that note. But I appreciate you both coming in tonight, and I hope this concert is a great success. And I hope that they have a lot of people show up because I want this young man to really feel special. You yes. Know? Please That's please that. do come and support. Yeah. Uh, this, Jer this so it's young Jared Cole. Jer no, Jared, Jared Hedges. Hedges. Jack yes, Cole Jared was Hedges. a. Jared Hedges. Exactly. So from uh, Minnesota. From Minnesota. Okay. All right. Thanks so much. Thanks for having us. Thank you for having us. But thanks for watching Community Hotline. Don't go away. You want to listen to the end of this so you can hear all of the Oregon Pro Arte Chamber Orchestra. Thanks so much for being on, guys. <laughs>